sound and logical. And Papa said it'd be all right. Isn't that wonderful, Kizzy? Isn't that a fine surprise? Well, what it means is that Uncle William will make a present of you. You'll be my slave, Kizzy. We'll be together forever. And you won't ever have to be afraid of anything again, because I'll protect you, Kizzy, always. Now, before the religious crowd pick up their religious pitchforks of their religious texts and say, how dare this ever take place? Roots was actually based on a novel, all right? It's not a real event. There was no Kinta Kente, there was no Kizzy. That being said, how dare anybody who subscribes to Abrahamic religion have an issue with this woman and, you know, her joy of owning somebody as a slave. I mean, the Bible advocates for slaves and it also advocates for slaves to obey their masters. So no one who believes in the Bible, who believes in the Bible, should take any issue with this. This is God's will. And anyone who goes against God's will is not a real Bible believing person. Wouldn't you like that? I I likes you, Missy Ann. You my best friend always was, but But what? This seems just so much happening all of a sudden. Hey, it's wonderful, all of it. You'll come here to live, Kizzy, here with me. Never live no place but masses. Oh, it'll be much nicer here. You have a room of your own, right next to mine. So the definition of chateau slavery is the most common form of slavery known to Americans. This system, which allow people considered legal property to be brought, sold and owned forever, was lawful and supported by the United States and European powers from the 16th to the 18th century. Never been away from my mom and my papa. Well, Papa Toby will be back and forth with Uncle William and we'll be over to see Mama Belle near as much as we'll be here. Oh, it'll be better than ever for you and me, Kizzy. And it'll be legal. You hear me, Kizzy? Legal. Don't know nothing about legal. Oh, well, legal is, uh, it's just the law. Legal? Did she just say legal? Okay, so what does that actually mean? Only a son will know what legal is because it's not something that is taught in schools. So, here what she has to say is legal. Uh, black people are slaves and white people own them. That's just the way it is. I know. Just don't understand it, I guess. Well, think of it this way, Kizzy. It's the natural way of things. I suppose it's because white folks are just naturally smarter than... Like men are smarter than women. <laughs> now everyone knows that, for heaven's sake. Finally, a point we can all agree on. Not. Well, the Bible says that the woman is the weaker vessel. And also, Adam wasn't deceived in the garden, only Eve, who was very, uh, I guess, evil. Not only that, but in the Judaic community, they start their day off with a blessing. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who has not created me a woman, a Gentile, nor a slave. Then let's not forget Islam. It says... The witness of a woman is equal to half of that of a man. The woman said yes, he said. This is because of the deficiency of a woman's mind. So it's a no-brainer. Women in Abrahamic religion are a little bit, um, yeah. You mean, that's the way God made it? Exactly. So if it wasn't right, why, he'd change it, wouldn't he? Spec so. Abolitionist wants to change it, Missy Ann. If we weren't friends, Kizzy, I could have you punished for even mentioning the abolitionists. I know that. I wonder how she knows that. Maybe she's being a good participant at her daily church services. I mean, it says, if a man beats his male or female slave with a club and the slave dies as a result, the owner must be punished. But if the slave recovers within a day or two, then the owner shall not be punished since the slave is his property or his money. Fascinating. I hope she doesn't get beaten though. 
but we are friends. So I'll explain it to you. Hey, that's what friends are for. I'm so glad you didn't get beaten for questioning the narrative. I mean, I know what it's like to ask questions to people who are overly subscribed and overly invested in a narrative that, truth be told, are scared to question. Scared no to different. Question. No different than a slave. No different than a slave. They are evil people. Like Quakers. They're against God. They is? Mm -hmm. Izzy! Papa wants to get back to masses. Don't want to run into any patrollers after it gets dark. Kizzy, don't you want to be my slave? Nah, I know what some might be thinking. Never! I would never be a slave. Well... If you're scared, fearful, or nervous to question a book, <laughs> my brother, my sister, you're already a slave. Aren't you my friend? Of course I'm your friend, Missy Ann. I just has to ask my mama and my papa. Oh, no, I'll ask them. I want to be the one. I'll be back at Uncle William's in a week. I'll ask them then. And to be fair, how dare she say she's going to ask her parents? I mean, the master should override the parents because according to the New Testament, you're supposed to serve your master as you would serve Christ. So technically, your boss, your master, your manager, you're supposed to be reverent to them like they are Christ or like they are a, a God. Sounds like an excellent system to keeping people on the straight and narrow. Till then, it's to be our secret, just yours and mine. <laughs> oh, how happy Mama Bell will be. She'll probably start to cry just from joy when I tell her. Oh, Kizzy, isn't it wonderful? This time we have the most wonderful secret of all. <laughs> when you explain to people that this Bible wasn't written by no Jesus person, in fact, it wasn't even written by the people it says that it was written by, but that it was written by church to get workers to build the kingdom of God and I would encourage you to investigate what those things were and how they were able to build such kingdoms of God. Anyway, before I get hit with holy stones, I would encourage people to um, do some holy research and to look into the things a little bit more than the average and then question why the slave master was always obsessed with that one sheep that managed to get away. He's run off, Doctor. I'd swear on it. The longer we wait, the less chance we're going to have a track in him. As it is now, we're going to have to use the dogs. As DMX famously said, <laughs> where my dogs at? <coughs> Be careful. If you run with dogs, you might catch fleas. Big up. Bless up. Think. All right, Mr. Odell, do what you have to do. Sound and logical.